Hello, everybody. A bit of time has passed since the last time I ran a division benchmark, and two major updates came out. The first one was a couple little changes here and there, but the most recent one was the incursions update. But with both these updates came um, changes in uh, some lighting sources and probably a couple other behind the scenes things that they didn't put on the release notes. So let's see if any of these changes uh, will affect frame rate and see if there's any changes since the last time I ran these benchmarks. Let's take a look. If you're using NVIDIA, I advise you to get the NVIDIA Inspector program. And if you're not using it, these settings are very similar to what are in the NVIDIA control panel settings for uh, individual games. And these are just the settings that I'm using. High quality textures, no optimization, with power management on maximum performance. And that's pretty much all I changed. Right here is my first run of the benchmark. It was a cold uh, run, and it got a 117, 118 average with a typical of 120 with 62% CPU and 90% GPU. I usually don't like running anything once and then calling it set in stone with the scores. So here's my second run with an average of 114, 115, a typical of 117. On this third run, I ran with MSI Afterburner in the background, logging the temperatures and everything else, and I got an average of 108 with a typical of 110. And I'm going to show the graphs at the temperature, I'm going to explain those right here. So I got my hardware graph here, um, it's the entirety of the benchmark run, and you could see my GPU topped out about 53. CPU goes all over, but that's overclocked, and that doesn't factor into this for me for this uh, video. GPU usage pretty much stays all the way up there, except for weird little hitches. Memory usage, now this is really interesting. You can see it ramps all the way up to a little over 3 gigs here. And uh, during a course of actual gameplay, I could see it going over uh, 4,000, 4,500 megabytes. So... GTX 970s with my settings should uh, watch out. And um, there's the frame rate throughout the whole thing, the frame times, I like the graph, and my GPU voltage. And um, this really isn't a benchmark of my Gigabyte Extreme 980 Ti gaming because, um, well, it is for the cooling solution, but I'm using a custom BIOS on mine that um, really helps with uh, the throttling and power limit and all the other things. Before we get to the 4K results, here's another 4K in-game recording of the benchmark for you to drool at. Sweet. 
I think this uh, first run here of the 4K benchmark is extremely playable if you have a native 4K screen. I got, you know, in the mid 40s here for average and typical. GPU usage is through the roof, and the CPU usage is pretty much medium. The second run is pretty much the same exact story. Still playable in my book for a 4K native monitor. So same thing as the 1080 uh, benchmarks. I ran this third one with MSI Afterburner on in the background and I'll show you those results right here. So here we go, we got the monitoring history for the 4K benchmark. Again, my GPU just cools like crazy. It doesn't really get over 55 here. Uh, where, where did it hit 55? Oh, it's just like a little blip. Um, let's see, let's go down here. GPU usage pinged. Memory usage, this, this gets pretty nuts here. It gets over 4,000 megabytes here. And you can see the frame rate and the frame times are, are not spiking anywhere. It's pretty consistent and smooth. And that pretty much backs up my claim that if you're playing this on a native 4K monitor, uh, last time I looked, I guess that most of them were like 30 hertz. So you would be completely fine with, with one of these Gigabyte 980 Ti Extreme Gaming cards. So for a comparison on the 4K benchmarks in my previous, you could see here I got 40 on the dot. Now I can't really find any um, conclusive 1080p benchmarks that I ran previously that I know the settings of. I have screenshots, but I could kind of tell uh, from what settings I think I used in those that there is an increase in performance. Well, I hope this video was informative. Uh, any more patches that come out for this game, I'm going to be doing more. Uh, re-benchmarking on it to see what changes and if image quality changes and all that stuff. So look out for the next videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.